Good morning, everyone, and thank you for coming. I'm Council Member Robert Carnegie, Chair of the Council's Committee on Housing and Buildings, and I'm joined today uh, by Council Member Chin, Rosenthal, Gredenchik, uh, Jonai, Rivera, and Perkins. Oh, and Cabrera. On the 50th anniversary of the Fair Housing Act, the landmark legislation prohibiting discrimination in housing, we're here to hold a vote on three bills related to further strengthening fair housing in New York City. The first bill we'll vote on today, proposed intro number 601A, sponsored by the Speaker, will require the City to report annually on the implementation of affordable housing plan, including information regarding the number of affordable units created or preserved and obstacles to fulfilling the current demand for affordable housing. Second, we'll vote on proposed intro number 607A, sponsored by Council Member Richards, which will require reports describing measures to affirmatively further fair housing and address historic patterns of racial segregation, where the city has developed plans for the creation or preservation of affordable housing. Lastly, we'll vote on proposed intro number 722A, sponsored by the Speaker, which will require HPD to create and implement a tracking system for the start and expiration dates of all department regulatory agreements and affordability requirements. It would also require HPD to report on the number of expiring affordable housing units and efforts to preserve those units' affordability. We'll now ask uh, the clerk, Billy Martin, to call the roll. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote, committee on housing and buildings, all items are coupled. Chair Cornegy. I vote aye on all. Cabrera. Aye. Chin. I vote aye, and please add me on to 722A. Thank you. Rosenthal. I vote aye on all. Grodenchik. Aye. Perkins. Aye on all, and I would like to be added on to all of these bills. Jonai. Aye. Rivera. Aye on all. I vote of eight in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. All items have been adopted by the committee. We'll be moving to the second part of this hearing. The vote is now closed. There'll be approximately a five minute break while we wait to, for the setup of the uh, next hearing. Thank you.